So we started filming a video, Queen's Preserves, by the way. And I said everything nicely and someone came over to have coffee. So while they're having coffee, Armenian style, I managed to peel almost four pounds of quince. Now half of the process is done, the long taking part is done. And what you need is only water, quince, sugar and lemon. And shame to say I have only this much lemon. You need one full lemon. Okay, and for the quince, how you slice it, how you cut it. You, some people, I can't stop singing. Some people like leaving the skin on. My mom always peels it. That way it turns out very soft and very, it like melts in your mouth. Um, and also, okay, let me show you. You want to be sure you, you wash them first, of course. And then you, you slice into, let me show you one, okay? Like I was planning. So this is full quince and mo many Mediterranean, Armenian or Middle Eastern stores have this fruit in case you can't find it into two pieces and then another two pieces and then into another two pieces I usually do six uh, pieces from each each queens I divide into six pieces some like it mm, like cubed that way it's more convenient when you eat like uh, right it's a small piece it's more convenient but for some reason and my mom always used to do that i like to slice it into these kind of pieces like slices veggies i don't know how you call this type this way it looks to me it looks more like a queen's preserves what i'm trying to say that uh, you can cube them or make them into small pieces if you like okay so you remove the inside and by the way they say and I even purchased once when I had really bad cough they sell these um, seeds you can dry them and save them uh, later you can make some uh, tea uh, I call it tea it's more of a um, I don't know how you say it um, it's something to help you with your cuff. Anka! Why? Okay, that's just uh, information. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't have time for that. Um, I don't have time to get sick and cough. <laughs> okay, there are a, a, a other ways of getting rid of cough. Okay. So, yeah, you peel your quince and then place it into cold water. Because if you don't place it in too cold water, uh, it will change color, darken in color, right? Okay, right. so... <laughs> right, Lily? <laughs> okay, and I started boiling water. What you do, you place your peeled quince into boiling water. Cook it only five to seven minutes. Don't overcook, don't make them very, very soft. You're not making jam, you're making preserves. I'll make jam one day. Okay, so I'll go ahead, finish peeling, and then we'll go from there. And I'm almost like a professional queen's peeler. <laughs> I do it so quickly now. So I'll discard this water, rinse it one more time, and then I'll place this hot water okay and you need as much water as it needs to cover the fruit Oops. not too much and use something like this so you don't burn yourself and I'll see if I need to add more water later we're gonna turn that uh, uh, turn this water into a syrup for our preserves so you want to make sure you have enough and let me see I'll add just a little bit more just a little don't pour too much though let me see I just want to show you look, look it barely it, it covers but you see some fruit are still sticking out so I'll add a little bit more hot water 
and boil this about seven to ten minutes not too long and then we'll just go from there that's it this is perfect Arka. Arka. this has been cooking almost 10 minutes and what you do you're going to place it into another bowl Okay, like this. Some people place it in cold water so it doesn't change color. But I, I don't do it and it's still fine. Uh, I don't know. If you want to place it in cold water, you can do that. Haja. Yes. <laughs> Go ask Lucy, okay? Elit. Okay, so I'll put this aside. And now it's time when you need to do all the measuring things. Arka, can you play over there, Tahes? Okay, for that you need a measuring cup. I'm using a large measuring cup. And it's important that you strain your... Uh, look, I just want you to see. There are some small particles, which is fine. But if you want to have that uh, clear... I, I want to show you. I, I made some last night. You want to have very clear syrup with your... Uh, preserves okay so if you don't want a clear syrup just pour it like that okay so I'll place this into my strainer and onto the cup I know it's gonna spill it always spills okay let's see if it's it's just as much as I need it okay so look how much of that things came out and I probably change my pot and cook it in a larger part so it has space okay and to this i'm adding some sugar um, and then i'm gonna add my lemon as it boils i'll squeeze the lemon juice okay let me count first of all the syrup is ready for cooking and you don't want to cook the syrup too long I'd say probably 7-10 minutes as it starts to boil let it cook like simmer 7-10 to 10 minutes and then we can add our quince so I'll see you when it's time to add the quince or maybe I even I'll add the quince and then I'll see you I don't know just stir a few minutes to help that sugar dissolve properly. Syrup has been cooking almost 10 minutes now and you count the cooking time from the time it starts to boil. Okay, I add my lemon juice. Okay, so this is here. And then quick stir. It's time to add the fruit. And we're cooking this only 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you're got, going to turn off the heat and let this cool down about one to two hours. And then restart cooking, cook until it's done. Okay, so I'll let this cook 20 minutes and then I'll turn off restart cooking and then see you midway halfway through cooking because there is not much to be done at this point just cook it let it cool down and then cook as long as it needs to turn into this beautiful pink orange color i don't know how you guys would call this color this is not completely orange and this is not red anyways as it turns into this beautiful color it's ready so we'll wait and uh, by the time I'm, I started sterilizing my jars, I only sterilize the jars but I'm not going to sterilize them after I fill the jars with preserves because it has enough sugar to preserve them. That's it. I'll see you in a while. Well, this took quite a while to cook and to turn into this beautiful color. And if you come up with 
little uh, foam like from sugar at the end you can go ahead and remove it I don't always do that I don't know why with these preserves it, it just disappears even after cooking that foam you you won't see it like in um, let's say strawberry or raspberry preserves it's more visible with this it kind of disappears so I'm not gonna bother to remove it but some people do it I just wanted to give you that uh, detail as well okay so this is ready jars are sterilized and uh, I, I know that some also use uh, vanilla extract or cinnamon for this preserve I never do that because this is very very fragrant fruit after it cooks okay that's why I don't add anything if you want to go ahead and add extra flavor up to you I won't suggest it and that's it we're done with our queens uh, preserves although many call this queens gem but gem is different to me gem is something that's thick and spreadable and doesn't have um, like individual fruit slices that's it guys I'm not gonna try this one now but I am very well prepared for this season I have all kinds of preserves I may even offer some for sale on my Etsy shop that's how much I made this year that's it I'll put down a detailed recipe on my blog at Elime.com. check it out let me know how you liked it and I'll see you soon oh subscribe to my channel don't forget it's very important it smells so good Shogun Kang Shang Nam Hishu